Hey, welcome back to the Milton Price Report for September 2014. My name is Chuck Charlton from the Charlton Advantage team at Rolla Page. And uh, here we go, kicking off the fall season with another price report. Uh, we have six people on our team. Really, I think one of the differences that separate us, there are many, but one of them is, is that we're actively, when we have a buyer, we don't just wait for something to show up on MLS. We are canvassing like crazy right now, and net is in neighborhoods that back onto green space, going along the streets, talking to the owners, uh, putting letters on doors, doing what needs to happen to make sure that we get the buyers the best new opportunities first. And on the sales side, we have great exposure through things like our Milton Daily Homes list, which is now numbering over 12,000 people that watch our daily videos over at MiltonDailyHomes.com. So we have a, uh, an office right on Bronte and Laurier uh, in the Green Life Commercial Building. So the report is really designed to give you a general sense of where the market's at, we do some general uh, GTA and suburbs uh, big graphs, and then we start dialing in to the different kinds of properties, townhouses, condos, so on and so forth. So the thing about this report, and there's links also on the site, if you scroll down a bit, you can see the individual links to sale prices. But the whole thing is, is the, the advice and the expertise can really shorten a lot of the process for you. I believe we give you enough information that you could probably do this on your own, However, there are advantages from more exposure, better advice, and, uh, and just the experience to deal with problems too. So the average days on the market, uh, we are this, this sort of turquoise line right here. That's crept up, very normal. Look how remarkably consistent we've been over the years. Aside from 2010, we're very, very uh, similar this year compared to the last five years. Number of sales, we went down. Uh, that's even consistent. I mean, these 2013, 2011, and 2014 have been within a few sales of each other in August. Uh, and we talked last month about the fact that the number of sales, look how the graph shifted because of our bad weather in the winter. Active listings, um, we are still, I believe, People talk about bubbles. Really what I look at is really, I think we're in an inventory shortage and we've been that way for a long time. Uh, I think Milton might loosen up when we start to see some of that area south of Louis St. Laurent really start to open up uh, the sales that'll start to kind of release the pressure valve on the new home buyers who really haven't had a lot to buy for the last, I would say close to a year now, aside from the Madame Patterson. So. New listings, uh, again, down, probably good news from a supply demand. If you're thinking about listing in the fall, it looks like right now, not a lot has come out in August. We might see that push come out uh, towards the end of this month in September. And then the average sale price, we talk about how deceiving this can be, that it doesn't mean that spring or fall is necessarily the best time, because remember, uh, your average or your, your active listings and your sales both tend to track on the same plane. So supply and demand actually remains uh, pretty even throughout the year. So what I look for here is is year over year change. And you can see that we are probably, I would guess, about seven or eight percent up on last August. Uh, so if you bought a home last August, you could probably say it's up about seven to eight percent on average. Uh, freehold towns, we can see 66 sales compared to 77 new listings. Very, very strong. 85% days on the market slow. Semi-detached, detached, all the numbers are as good or better. We had 27 sales and only 26 new listings for semis, so they were really on fire. And, uh, and the average price was the highest it's been in, uh, in about six months. So very nice stuff here. If you are a property owner in Milton, you've got to be impressed with how remarkably consistent we've been just steadily climbing up at 5% a year on average, even though uh, the August is a little bit higher. If you average it all out over the last two or three years, it's about 5% per year. So condo apartments have done pretty well. There's still a little bit of inventory left over from June and July, but not a whole lot of selection right now. So it is a pretty decent time to, uh, to sell a condo. And all these numbers look good too. So January to August, the days on the market is 20. In August, it was 21, which was actually a very busy month of August. That was uh, just aside from the numbers, it felt like May. I mean, it was quite busy uh, in the real estate market. So 
Uh, here's what people are saying about us. Uh, if you'd like to read through some of those words, we've got the PDF that, uh, that you've got access to. And if you want to find out what homes are selling for, you can go to the links right down below on the Milton Price Report site. So here's three things you can do next. Number one is you can ask us for a pinpoint price analysis where we can review the sales for your, your home or your model or your area and come up with a price where it will sell in 60 days or less. And so you can look at these numbers and say, wow, they look pretty good. But remember, 66% of the new listings sell what about the other 34%? There's still a, uh, a, a dark shadow in any market of homes that just aren't doing it. So we'll tell you what you really need to know, not what you want to hear, and we'll back that up with a guarantee. And then the second thing is the room by room review. So as you're preparing your home, what we find is a lot of people just need to be directed towards the don't do list is, okay, I know you think that's important, but it's not. And so we want to be honest about that and give you some real life examples of how that would work. And also, are there opportunities in your house to unlock some hidden money? If you spent $100, could you make $1,000? If you spend $1,000, could you make five or $10,000? In most cases, there are. So that's the things that we point out in a room by room. And it, uh, all of these probably take between 30 and 60 minutes. And, uh, and then the silent market of homes, we have, we have done a lot of work to really build up a database of buyers and sellers, and we've started to make matches in between them. So the price report, the one that you're getting, there's about a thousand people that subscribe to that. We have over 12,000 over at Milton Daily Homes. Uh, we have our past clients who we keep in touch with. And we just had a great event at Spring Ridge, by the way. And anyway, so we can touch base with a lot of people directly and indirectly to see if there's a market for your home. And uh, so oftentimes with people who, here's a great example. I just sent out an email to uh, every agent in town. We have a list of agents who have sold more than two homes in the last 12 months in Milton, of which there's about 120. Surprising, I thought it would be bigger. But anyway, it just goes to show you there's a very small group of uh, movers and shakers in real estate uh, compared to the actual number of people licensed. But the point is, is I sent out an email to that list saying, I've got a condo that's coming out. We can't list it on MLS because the tenants are a mess, but we want to start getting showings through. And out of that, we had four agents that said, yeah, I've got a client for it. Let me in. So we can do it in that direction. We can also do it to people who are not real estate agents, but we love doing things like that. We love thinking outside the box and getting stuff done beyond just putting a sign up, putting it on MLS and praying someone else sells it. We call those the three Ps. So if you're interested, give us a call, send us an email, and we'd be glad to help you. And have a great month, and we'll see you back here with another Melton Price Report in approximately 30 days. Thanks for watching.